Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make vegan chili and vegan sour cream. This recipe is absolutely delicious and I eat it all the time. So let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by preparing our ingredients. Dice one red bell pepper or dice half of a red bell pepper and half of a green bell pepper. Since I really like bell peppers, I did half of both. Then dice one jalapeno. Two ribs of celery. Two carrots. And one onion. Or you can buy all these ingredients already diced and save yourself the trouble. Now, in a large pot, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then add your diced onions, diced bell peppers, diced carrots, diced celery, and diced jalapeno. Then add 1 4 teaspoon of salt and saute your vegetables for 7 to 10 minutes. When you're finished sauteing your vegetables, Add 1 fourth teaspoon of pepper and 1 teaspoon of minced garlic. Mix everything together until well combined and then add 2 tablespoons of chili powder, 2 teaspoons of ground cumin, 1 and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one fourth teaspoon of Creole seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, and one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix everything together until well combined. Then add one large 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Then add one 15 ounce can of black beans. Make sure to rinse and drain your black beans. I was hungry so I just kinda drained mine real quick. Then add one 15 ounce can of pinto beans. Again, Rinse and drain your pinto beans. Now add two cups of vegetable broth. Then add one bay leaf. Bring your chili to a simmer and let it cook for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. When your chili is finished cooking, add one and a half cups of your chili into a blender or a food processor. Then blend until smooth. Remove the bay leaf from your chili. Then 
add your blended chili back into the pot. Now mix everything together. After that, add two tablespoons of cilantro, one or two tablespoons of sherry vinegar, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now that you're finished making your chili, let's make that vegan sour cream to go on top. In a blender, add one cup of cashews. If you have a regular blender, then you're going to want to soak your cashews overnight. Since I have a Vitamix blender, which is just a high powered blender, I don't really need to soak it overnight because it blends it very easily. And until smooth. Then add one fourth cup and two tablespoons of lemon juice. One fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of nutritional yeast, and a half a cup of water. Blend your ingredients on high for five to seven minutes. Once your sour cream is smooth and creamy, go ahead and transfer it into a container. The sour cream is amazing and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's a good and healthy substitute. Now that both your sour cream and chili are finished, go ahead and plate it up. And that's it, you are all finished making your vegan chili and vegan sour cream. And this is the finished product. I really like this recipe because it's packed full of flavor and it's delicious. The sour cream is a great addition. I also like to eat it with green onions and hot sauce. Oh, and I'll also make chili fries with it. You can also save some of the chili for later by freezing it and it'll last up to a month. This is like my fourth favorite vegan meal. I might do a video on my number one favorite vegan meal because I can eat that all the time and never get tired of it. I always see in the comments people asking for dairy free or healthier alternatives so if you wanted me to do more videos like this let me know in the comments. I have a bunch of vegan recipes that are packed full of flavor and super delicious. I even found a way to make tofu taste good. Alright, that's it for this video. Everything I used in the video, including the recipe for the chili and the sour cream, will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!